turn on the camera in a second. Okay, and I can hear myself. Awesome. Okay, cool. Let me put this out. So, welcome to this first live of the, you know, the new season, almost new season. Um, I've been, I haven't done uh, any live during July and August because in July and August it is two months of summer holiday here in Belgium which means that my son doesn't have school so I was planning or I was thinking about going live but I just caught up you know with life um, you know I'm, I'm doing this you know to spend more time with my family so then it's only obviously when I can spend time with my family that I spend time with but you know, my son is back to school. Um, I'm dropping, I've dropped down on hours in my job. Um, so now I'm, uh, every Wednesday I'm home. I don't have to work anymore every Wednesday um, because I'm like, you know, building down on hours. So eventually I can quit my job completely. Now we are at lesson one. Um, let's play that, prepare the three things. So lesson one is why should you build an online business and start making money online? And I mean, this is like, I mean, every lesson is important that I will do, um, but this is a very important lesson because, you know, it's not just, we are not doing this for fun. You know, you, you're not starting with this for fun. You know, uh, everybody wants to make money. Um, but we are doing it online because there are, you know, different reasons. Um, so I will just, you know, share the screen and uh, start talking about this so we can go with it right away. Or before I forget it, I want to point out something. So if you don't know me, who I am, um, which would be odd because, you know, you're in my group. But anyway, if you don't know who I am, my name is Geoffrey Lemaire. I'm 33 years old. I'm from Belgium. And um, in this, you know, in this video, in this training, I have nothing to sell to you. Okay. I mean, there is, in the end, I won't, I won't, uh, I won't pitch you anything. So this is just a video um, to clear up things, but also to teach you things. Okay. I mean, this will, this will be. A, a training lessons training training series video series um, about my knowledge you know what I know what I do and uh, it's you know in the online world so I will reveal everything and each week each Wednesday there will be a new lesson so today we start with lesson one the next Wednesday lesson two the, the week after lesson three but I will create events so don't worry about it and everything will be uh, possible to watch afterwards in the replay and when you mention about it I should better start recording this boom record okay I hope my I hope there is not much any lag or anything so if you are um, you know watching live or watching the replay always mark it down in the comments because 
if you comment on it, then people find it back inside it, okay? So it's important. You comment on it, people find it back easier, people find the trainings, um, because there are lots of people inside this group, more people will be added over time, and, um, you know, it's good, you know, it's good for, for, for Facebook, it's good for me, it's good for you, it's good for the other people, so, you know, give me the likes if you uh, like it, uh, give me some comments if you want to comment, uh, you know, hashtag live or hashtag replay. Um, this is, a, you know, it's a private group, but it's also, you know, public, I want it to remain public, so, you know, like some kind of freedom of speech, okay? So if you want to share something um, which is about the subject, okay, I don't want any unnecessarily spamming or anything, but if it's about the subject or if you have questions or if you, you know, just just communicate with me, okay? Cool. Let's see if it works. Okay, this works. Let me do this more and move it around. Does it work? Yes, it works. Okay, so as I mentioned before, this is lesson one. Why should you build an online business and start making money online? And I've pointed down a few, you know, words um, because I want to talk about them, okay? So an online business and making money online, I mean, what is this world about? These days, okay, I mean, if we have to be clear, if we have to be like, you know, honest with you, this world is about money. I mean, if you don't have money, then you're pretty, pardon my language, fucked. Um, so everything is about money. And the more money you got, the less worries you have, okay? And of course, you can say, you know, that's idiot, because there are always worries and there are always problems. And it is, it is true. There's always worries and there are always problem, problems. But the most worries and issues the normal common people have people who work in full-time job or people who are struggling to pay the bills it's always about money okay i mean people are even fighting I, i'm like i know couples who broke up because of money okay because one one worked hard the other didn't work hard they were talking about expenses and money and they broke up so it's always about money so building an online business, start making money online. First of all, it's about money. Without money, you can't do anything, okay? I mean, that you need love, you need friends, okay? You need a good health. And you can say, those are all important, but money is important, okay? I mean, if you have a house, and then it takes me to, you know, number two I want to talk about, which is bills, okay? So, bills, you need money to pay the bills. And the issue is that prices are going up heavily, okay? I mean, um, not, you know, for example, for a house, you need rent. Um, for what bills do you have more? Electricity, gas, I don't know if it's safe, correct? Gas, gas, yeah, some cars, gas. Um, <coughs> like here in Belgium, um, like most of the people are heating on gas. Um, lots of people I know are switching to it, electricity, they are buying solar panels and looking for a battery so they can save on the bill because, I mean, like, prices have doubled or tripled, you know, in within one year. Um, I'm already, you know, holding down my heart for, uh, what's the word? my bill next year okay so it, i don't know how it goes in other countries but here we like paying you know each month an amount and then at the end after one year um then we see if we pay too much over the one year or if we pay too less too little over the one year so if you paid too little over the one year then we have to you know pay up pay more um but you know since the prices are fluctuating each each day each month it's possible that you know 
you have to pay up like another two thousand to five four thousand i mean some people even more five thousand euros which is with the current um dollar stuff it's a, it's around you know four thousand dollars something like that so imagine ending up you know after one year you get a note in your letterbox and you look and you open it and say oh my god i receive a bill of four thousand dollars so you know bills this is one of the reasons why you should build an online business and start making money online but not you know you don't have to build an online business and start making money online to cover the bills you can just take a second job or and a third job or you know start like you know doing some energy saving and stuff like that okay i mean don't don't turn turn the heater a few temperature a few degrees down and stuff like that you know um really start counting your money like if you need to go to the store for example you can instead of just going to the store and buy whatever you see you think you need you know just make a list okay you walk around in the house what do i need what is empty what uh, what, what is like you don't have any more milk okay like let's say three cartons of milk um you need this you need this you need this and then when you go to the mall or to the store and you see something like oh that's interesting and you look on your list did i know the town on the list no okay don't buy it you know just skip it i don't don't look at if it's in, in a promotion or anything like oh you know it's in a promotion okay no you create the list okay stay to the list <clears throat> then for electricity for example you can start using you know changing all the lights into led lights and stuff like that um what else um yeah, turn down the heater a little bit more. Uh, make sure that that every single electrical device you're not using is plugged out, uh, because if you remains it plugged in, it can still consume a little electricity. And you can say, okay, it's not much, but <clears throat> you have to look at the long term. Okay, if it's not much, but you can save up twenty euros or twenty dollars or fifty dollars because you plugged it out. You save that money. Okay, so bills. Then number three is food. I mean, it's not only electricity and gas and, 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 and like, you know, for, for the car, gasoline and stuff like that, or or, uh, or diesel. Um, it's also food. I mean, everything is going up, okay? Everything is going up except for the salary. And if it goes up as a salary, then you can be damn sure everything else is going up again, but a lot more. So the buying power is like taking off. <clears throat> and we are going to a very bad future i mean that's why i'm also like you know i'll use c.6 here that says about you know future um i mean i will i will get to it okay so food 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 um so yeah i mean when i used to go to the mall um like let's take it easy okay let's just say one year ago okay and I had like a full cart, okay, because sometimes I'm only going to, you know, get some food and, and, and drinks out after, um, sometimes it takes me two weeks to go to the mall, okay. Um, so I'm going to the mall and then, you know, okay, I need, I need lots of drinks. I'm, I'm, I'm usually creating a list, but, you know, it happens for me as well. I'm saying, ooh, okay, this is something special. This is new or this is in promotion. You know, you know how it goes, okay? It's 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 how them, you know, it's, it's the marketing. They're putting everything in front of you. So you look at it and it's, ooh, okay, this and this and this. But I'm always looking at the price, okay? Don't get me wrong. I'm always looking at the price. Um, but yeah, you know, my card is full, okay? Usually when I go to the mall, it's always a full card, okay? I see people running around with lit, lit like, five or ten things in their cart and I'm like really you're going to the mall for five or ten things but my cart is always full um, so I used to pay around let's say uh, 150 euros something like that yeah now I don't want to lie to you so let me check my bank So normally, usually, uh, you, I, I remember it around last year, I was always like around 150 euros 
for full car. <coughs> now we went to the mall um, Saturday. Okay. Mm. Okay, now. So normally last year when I went to the mall, it was around 100 euros. Okay. Um, so I'm already lying to you. So my apologies for that because I, I just see now that I paid now around 140, 150 euros last Saturday. So usually it's around 100 euro for a full card. Now it's 150 euros. But I'm not making, you know, with my full time job, 50 euros more in a month. Okay. But the price is rising. And I'm really like, you know, you last Saturday I really was like this is the list and I stick to the list so I didn't buy anything extra you know and then usually I did buy extra stuff and then there's still like a difference of around 40 50 euros so everything is going up everything is going up it is crazy then something else let's talk about let's start in, talking about education um, you know uh, if I'm talking about education, then I'm talking about our our descendants, okay, or our children, our grandchildren. Um, when they go to school, like when I was young, I didn't need a laptop. I'm not saying I'm old, okay. My apologies for that. And um, sometimes my coworkers and my friends are laughing. Oh, ha, ha, when you were young, and they're like 20 years older than me, but you know. When, when I went to school, I didn't need a laptop, okay? I had a computer at home. No, first I didn't have a computer at home. I know my father had one. Um, and then my sister needed one for school. Um, not, you know, just for some school, doing some school work, okay? Typing stuff and printing stuff and, and you know, it wasn't really necessary, but it was easier because then, you know, we were three children at home. So, th and, and then my father uh, and my mother, so it was easier to have like two computers then. So my sister had one in her room and then there was, there was the one that, you know, everybody else was using. Um, even when I went to high school, not high school, I don't know. I don't know, does high school count? I don't know, it can be high school, middle school, high school, I don't know. Uh, 12 years, 13 years, you know, something like that. Um, so when I start going to, you know, the first grade in the high school, I don't know if it's high school or middle school, um, but I, w I still didn't have a computer. I think it was only when I was like, I don't know, 14, 15 years old. Um, I bought it myself. It was around 15 because then I started, I think around my 14, 15 years old, I started working in the school holidays um, with my aunt on the market. <coughs> um, not in the market, but like, you know, on a market, um, which is outside. Then every week there is like one day in a week of market. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. And then, then I bought, you know, my computer, but you know, this was for some school tasks, but also for gaming and stuff like that. But now these days, if you go to school, I mean, I'm already seeing it with my son. He's only like eight years old. They're already learning. They're already working with a computer. He's only in the, in the first lower grade. Now, now he's starting in the second, but, but they already, I, I remember when he was very little, like two years ago, he was on my computer. Like, hey, can I can I play games on your computer? I'm like, eh, what? Yeah, we, we are sometimes playing games and on school. And like, oh, okay. So education. I mean, you need a laptop to go to school. I mean, I'm pretty sure in a few years, I will have to buy a laptop for him to do his homework on, um, but also to take it to school. Um, but then we have like a smartphone. Okay, I mean. If there is something, you, you have to stay in touch with each other. Um, so you need a smartphone, but then like education in, in, in common, you know, like I said, electricity and gas is rising in price, but 
but like the school classes, the school building, it also needs electricity and gases. So they are also rising the prices you have to pay for your children to go to school. Then there is like the papers that they are printing, because in the past, um, I, I I've I've witnessed that that changing of time, you know, because when I went to like lower school, um, I had um, oh hi Karen, welcome to my training. It's great to have you here. Um, so when I went to lower school, we still had like, you know, writing books, which you have to buy and then like reading books, in which case it wasn't allowed to write anything in it. So you have to pay, give it back. So that was more like renting, which was pretty cheap. Um, but then like when I went to, you know, high school, everything started with copies, copies, copies. So you have to pay more for the copies, for the printing. Um, so yeah, I mean, education, it's getting expensive. I mean, I have. I'm working with a guy and he has two kids who are going to you know some sort of university and and you know he has to pay I mean, I mean thousands of, of, of euros thousands just for one year I mean it's crazy and then they need some some place to live uh, because the, the school is far so they have to pay for a room and stuff like that so I mean education it's get really expensive and then five which is important family you know now let me get to the difference um, between making money and making money online and we start from here which is family okay um, if you want to make money you can get one job you can do two jobs you can do three jobs I mean during the day then in the evening and then in the weekends for example but you're missing out on time actually on time freedom um, which is also point seven but you're losing on quality time with your family um, that's why the difference is with making money online building an online business okay we are in an in an, we are in the age of where you know almost everything is possible on the internet okay um, so if you're building an online business you can you know the words online says it all okay you can run it everywhere you can run it on a laptop you can run it on a smartphone because it's online as long as you have an internet connection as long as you have you know 4g 5g or wi-fi which like i think <laughs> everyone ha can be connecting to wi-fi these days on, on, a, on a bar on a restaurant on a hotel a hotel sorry um you can you know run an online business and make money online and you have actually more time to spend with the family like I said last two months where it was summer home holiday for my son so for me my main key was to spend as much time with my family as possible but the problem is if you're running a full-time job and I mean like if you're like I don't know I don't know the terms I would not talk about that but like in my case if I don't work two weeks I'm not paid for the two weeks okay like when I remember people who are working at an office in my country if they are not working two weeks they are still paid for the full month okay so but but you know they they have like vacation money or something like that which is less and, and okay you know everything is really financially but in my case, if I'm not working for two weeks, then I'm not getting paid in the end of those two weeks. So in the end of the month, my income is much lower. So if you're building an online business and you make money online, this can covers up, okay? I mean, it can start covering up for one week holiday or two weeks holiday, but in the end, it will be covering like a whole month or even two months in one month or even a whole year in one month. I mean, the possibility are endless okay so family important building online business starting making money online then the past versus the future this is also very important you know time changes okay usually when you are looking to our, our parents our grandparents um, you know our grand grandparents um, or great grandparents or 
mean, if we look at them, for most people, okay, not for everyone, they were just working, okay? They were working from the early mornings to the late evenings um, to get, you know, to get money, to pay the bills. Uh, I mean, holidays, from, I mean, in, in my country, when I talk to older people, uh, holidays, it didn't exist. Okay, maybe maybe a weekend to the sea or something like that, um, and you know it was al always about working. I mean, even children were not allowed to play all the time. They had to get up. Hi, Garrett. <laughs> nice to see you. Great to have you here. Um, so children, they they didn't were they weren't allowed to play. They had to move out to the fields working, you know, um, at least here in, in Belgium, because there are a lot of farmers here. So like I know my father from from his young age, uh, when it was weekend, they were at, you know, at a farm uh, with, with some, you know, someone who had a farm and they were working there. <coughs> and it was you know like really working their asses off okay i mean it's not like just like when you ask your son uh, these days to empty the, the dishwasher for example it was really like hard work outside um so that's the past um now these days um you know as life getting more and more expensive uh we have to find easier ways okay and the easier way is to not stick with your mind into I have to work very hard to get somewhere because you will work very hard for the rest of your life and if you're lucky you will hit retirement age but totally broken okay you will need health care I mean massively going to the doctor uh, perhaps end in a wheelchair stuff like that so what have you worked for you know Yes, perhaps you have a house, but you know, your life just went like that. <coughs> so it's important to know that life is short and you have to enjoy it every day, or at least try to enjoy it every day. So, and that's different with the past. You know, we have to create this new future for you. And you have to think about um, your, you know, your your future, but also your descendants, their future. Um, it is important, um, like, to think already. You have to think now, like, if you're in your thirties, or even if you're twenties, or if you're older, it doesn't matter. But you have to stick in your head. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a bit sick. Um, so you have to stick in your head and think for yourself like is this the life I want for my children like the same thing I'm doing right now okay working like like I'm working in, in two shifts I, I, I used to work until uh, January this year I was working in three shifts so I did a night shift then before I started there I worked in another place which was five shifts but you, once you're like thinking of the future of your family you have to think like now, do I want my children to have the same, you know, like always working, 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 working early, working late, being tired? <coughs> Feeling miserable, stuggling, you know, working hard and still struggling to pay the bills. Um, have to count every penny until they can, you know, um, pay bills, pay for food, pay for education. What future do you want for your children and for your grandchildren and their children and their grandchildren? No, what future do you want for them? Do you want it to be the same like yours? Like your past, like your, what you're doing right now, which is, you know, working your ass off? No, for me personally, I want for them to, to have a better life. I mean, I want to them not to worry about money, okay? Not at all. If they want to work, they can work, okay? But I want to make sure that they don't 
have to work if they don't want to work or that they have like a very you know good position very smart um, educational position <coughs> because education costs money and as a child it's really difficult um, to choose what you want in life because if your parents are just you know working like my parents okay I mean I love them they you know they did their best for me and then we had you know they often say no to me when I want something because it was you know hard to you know to live to grow up to pay for everything but on the other hand I had everything I need but they shared their mentality with to me like you have to work want money you have to work hard you have to work lots of hours you have to work a lot um, and that's how I started you know at my 14 15 years I started working in weekends and stuff like that I dropped off at school at my 19 years old and I only have like a lower degree um, because you know I grew up with the idea that if you want something in life you have to work hard for it and yes you know it's true um, but you have to try to break out of that, you know, returning pattern. Um, you have to be, you know, you have to be the person that says, okay, no more. Okay, I don't, and I'm doing that. I don't want that my son has to, you know, work his ass off and then be like, in the end of the month, like, oh, damn it. I need to pay the bills and then he pays the bills and then he has to count every penny to you know to survive the rest of the month or if his washing machine of his car breaks down and he has to say like oh damn it this is a very bad time because I don't have the money right now I'm struggling perhaps he has to take a loan or something like no okay I don't want that for my son um, that would be a nightmare for me uh, I would I, you know I would be very you know depressed if that would turn if it, if it would turns out like that um, you know my son is I mean we are having uh, now we're fighting often um, but that's because I think we have and even my wife says that that we have like the same you know the same mind the same behavior so you know it hits walls often but you know I don't care um, I, I, I still do everything for him but I don't want you know such a future for him um, I, I, I have had times where I, where I was struggling you know, to pay the bills um, before I had my wife and, and my son um, also during that time uh, we, we had this issue um, so yeah past versus future you know really think about this it's, like I said this is an important lesson okay seven which is time you know I already said time flies um, the older you get the faster it goes uh, I remember when I was still going to school and I was like oh another day and then lying down with my head on on my um, bank school table yeah something like that watching the time uh, waiting till the bell till the bell rings till it was like you know playtime something like that um, to go outside till, till it was noon till it was weekend again um, and then you know having lots of fun uh, well fun and especially working at some age during the weekends and and you know then time moves even faster because of all I was going to school uh, then Wednesday afternoon we don't have school in Belgium I don't know for other countries then then I had some fun you know um, then you know and then it was school again Thursday Friday and then Friday evening I worked Saturday morning I worked um, like very early so Saturday Friday night Friday evening Friday night I worked Saturday morning very early I worked Saturday evening I worked and then usually the Sunday morning Sunday noon I had to work again so it was really like school work school work school work because I wanted to buy, to have things you know I wanted you know um, um, a motorcycle but you know for children for you teenagers like a, a booster a scooter I wanted a scooter um, I wanted you know to go to the movies um, I want 
access to you know buy a computer buy a tv buy uh, an xbox um but when i wanted to go out but for all these things you need the money i wanted to to go on a restaurant with my girlfriend when i was when i was young you know just have a meal like when it's getting valentine you know you want to do some stuff but you need money um so and that's something i don't want for my kids and i'm back to point six so back to point seven <laughs> my apologies uh when i'm talking i'm like going here going there um so point seven time time freedom okay it's important that you can do with your life um what you want to do like if you say i want to go on a holiday i want to go like for a full month for example to turkey you know why not you should be able to do that now the problem is if you have the time then it's highly because you're probably not working which means that you don't have the money to go for a full month um, to turkey to an all-in hotel for example but it can also be that you have the money to go to a full-time hotel but you don't have the time because you're asking like for a full month of leave at your job and your boss say hell no i cannot miss you for that long so you see this is one of the reasons why you should build an online business start making online because you just you you choose your own time okay in the beginning you know first year first two years it can happen that you still have your full-time job um, and it's, it's possible that you still have to you know ask for leaves um, but I mean if you have the time and the money okay you can do whatever you want and you have an online business you can run it from everywhere okay even if you are like in Turkey for six months I mean if you have a laptop or a smartphone you can run your online business so that's all what you need so time very important and then eight travel <gasps> and this is also very important because I know lots of people who like to travel I mean who, who doesn't like to travel there are always people who doesn't like to travel but I mean why not okay you, you meet you, you see you see a new country you, you can visit the country you, you can go to to you know to hot places to cold places to rainy places it doesn't matter you can see the world I mean if you think about our grandparents or our great-grandparents they didn't have that chance to see the world unless they were like some kind of are doing some some ar ar archaeology work um, other other than that they you know they didn't have a chance to travel perhaps to the sea perhaps to, you know they worked on a boat okay then they had the chance to travel but they didn't have the opportunity to see the world and I'm pretty sure that a lot of those people wanted to see the world I mean these days it's possible you know with airplanes and stuff like that you're jumping on an airplane you wait four or five hours perhaps or, or I think the longest one is eight or ten hours perhaps twelve hours. I don't know really um, and you arrive at that place you know you see the world you pay for it boom you go to there boom you pay it done finished I mean if you're working three jobs okay in the week then in the week in the evening and then in the weekend you're making money you know that's good okay I mean it's important especially during these hard times when all, with, with uh, all these prices and stuff like that but you know time is cannot take time back okay if you're working 20 years like that then 20 years of your time is gone yeah Garrett I love to travel too so I mean the time is gone okay you, you cannot bring it back so you're missing out of a lot now if you have an online business okay of 
if you're building an online business and, and you start making money online, you actually can, you know, live, um, use your time more, um, more, um, oh, I don't forget, I forget the word, um, more useful. Yeah, you can use your time more useful, um, which is like, you know, whatever you want. If you want to spend more time with your son, if you want to go bowling with your son or with your daughter, or with your, with your wife, or with your friends, or with your family. Um, and I'm just talking about, you know, all the points, okay, from one till eight, and generally about the lesson. If you want to, you know, to have time and money, then, you know, an online business is, is only what's left. What more you can do, okay? I mean, this is getting very popular in Belgium. I don't know about the rest of the world, but in, popular, in Belgium it's very, getting very popular. This is, banks are trying um, to get people into, uh, you know, some um, some stocks, some, um, some investments. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. So banks are trying to get people into investments with their money. Like, okay, you're, you have like, you're, you're a saver, you know, you're saving money and, and you say like, you know, you never know if my boiler breaks down, if my car breaks down and I have money for the repair. If the bank sees you have some money on your bank account, they will call you. Hey, perhaps you can, you know, you can put it on the market, um, you can invest it, um, you, you know. And the problem is, if everything goes well, you will have one or two or three percent in a year, perhaps five percent in a year, which is, you know, a lot because banks these days they give what nothing or perhaps 0.01 percent or perhaps maybe one percent in a whole year i mean that's still a lot so they want you to use that money so they can use your money but they are making much more than that and i mean my parents are doing that um i think they're all they, they're making losses like for last five years so, you know, the bank is like putting investments all around, you know, and, and like every year they're making loss. So, but you need, you need a lot of money for that, okay. I mean, my, my, my parents, they had luck, they, they had some, um, um, if someone dies and you, you know, you get... Yeah, so my grandparents died, and my my mom and my dad they, you know, got money, um, so they they put a lot on the bank, uh, and stuff like that, um, you know, just for for the last you know five or ten years or something like that, um, but they still have the same mentality, you know, you have to work hard, blah blah blah, because my father never stopped, gave up his job, you know, he, he's now retired, and and he's still working working outside he's working in my he comes helps in my house he helps at my sister's houses um, he's always a busy bee um, because you have to earn your food he's saying you know um, if you haven't done a, a damn thing in a whole day then you, you don't deserve to, to eat or, or you know I don't know what what how people say it but oh, inherited oh, okay thanks yeah yeah, exactly. Then the banks lend your money to others for twenty percent. So, so they're actually, you know, if people take on a loan, then you have to pay thus much interest. But you know, you're you're actually loaning your own money, <laughs> or or from your friends. You know, you're, you're loaning his money. Um, so, uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, inherited. So, okay, yeah, that was the word I searched for. Thanks, David. So. Why should you build an online business and start making money? I think I think I made it all clear, okay? I mean, money, you know, without money, these days, I mean, if you have no money, you're living on the street. Um, unless, you know, you have like a very, very rich family and then, you know, you don't have any money, but you you receive everything. You receive the house and, and it's okay, you know, and, and, and bills are getting paid automatically from some kind of account, um, you know. But anyway, then you still have money. So bills, you know, everything is rising, electricity, gas, I mean, in Belgium, it's insane. Um, food, the same, education, you know, if you get more, 
expensive. I mean, even when I start with this online business, um, prices are still rising. Okay, um, I can see it for knowledge. I mean, if I st started like one year a half ago with the thing I'm doing right now, um, which is online marketing, um, then you know programs who are only like seven hundred, eight hundred dollars uh, now they cost double and not much has changed from the program you know but it's just because it's worth you know it, it's it's rising in worth it's like a house you know the older the house gets the more money you you get from it um, um and this is the same because the trainings they work you know more and more people are making money from it so at some point they say you know what we are raising rising the prices because it's really good program <coughs> I mean, prices rise everywhere, okay. And then they're saying, okay, let's let's. I mean, from Belgium, okay, let, let's rise the let's let's rise the the wages, the salaries. And then I'm like thinking, oh God, no, please don't do it because. You know, every person who has a job, their salary goes up, which means that every boss has to pay more, which means that the products or the services or the the goods that they are selling will go up in price because they have to cover the cost for the for the for the for the working people and they still need to make you know more and more profit each year but then we, there's also the transport you know like people who are delivering it from 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 the factory to the to the warehouse or to the stores so the the transport costs are also rising because you know the, the gasoline price the diesel prices are rising so so the transport cost rises so then the food and and you know the end product prices because everything all these prices are inside so every time they're doing like okay let, let's have an index let's let's put the money of the salaries up you know all the rest it's it's rockets it skyrockets it's insane um it's really insane like like being a house mother <coughs> these days well and having children I mean, you know, respect, okay? Um, because we've tried it before and, and, you know, it wasn't possible. Especially if you want a nice house, you know. I mean, here in Belgium, it's all about luxury, okay? I mean, you want, you know, want a nice house, you want a big house, um, you want a garage, you want a car, you know, you want bicycles, uh, you want a big TV, you know, we want, you know, it's all about luxury. Um, and, and it, you, you grow up like that, okay? And that's why, you know, you need an online business, start making money online, because first you can make like $100, $100 online, but perhaps in a year you're making $1,000 each month, or $2,000 each month, or $4,000 each month. I mean, and eventually you can quit your job, and then you can, and then start. it starts, you know? The moment you quit your job is the moment you can say, okay, I have days to spend however I want to spend. And for me, it's starting already, okay? Every Wednesday, I'm home, and I decided, okay, you know what? Every Wednesday, I would do a live training in my group. Why? Because I have the time. I have the time to do it, okay? My son is at school. My wife is off to work. And even if she, if she was home, I would still do the training. And, you know, I have time. I can't, I can't travel because my son is at school, so I can't say I, I want to travel, you know. Um, yes, I can sit in the sofa and, and watch TV, watch Netflix or anything, but what does that help, you know? I'm only getting lazy with that, and, you know, I like to help people as well, you know. Um, share stuff, teach stuff. Um, normally, at my job, uh, usually there are like, uh, you know, from time to time they're starting new people and then uh, it's often happens that you have to explain and teach them stuff, you know, showing them the fine, the fine tuning, teaching tips and tricks. And I haven't done that like for this year. So and I kind of miss that. Um, but yeah, you know, in the online business, everyone has to learn. Um, so, you know, that's why I'm here. That's why I decided to do these lessons, okay? So this is lesson one. Um, this weekend, uh, it will be 
lesson two, I was I was still thinking about you know the subject um, and everything. But yeah, each week I will be here teaching um, or talking, you know, <laughs> or whining. It's, it depends how how you think, um, because I'm I'm pretty sure I'm talking like you know on the same tone every time. You know, I'm not I'm not not yet used to public speaking or anything. So if I if I sound boring, my apologies for that. Um, so yeah, lesson one, and what I want to talk about is you know, like I said, I'm not I'm not in the beginning. I said this is not you know a pitch call, uh, pitch session or anything, um, but I'm just talking about you know why I'm using the green strategy, the this strategy that I'm using um, in the online world, which is you know. It stands for digital, reliable, effective, authentic, and market. And if I want to explain this to you, you know, then you will you will find this again back, you know, online business, start making money online. And I would say digital because you know you don't need a laptop or a smartphone and an internet connection, which is what I'm saying already the whole time. I mean, if you have a smartphone or and a laptop and an internet connection, you can make money. Okay, I mean you don't have to work your ass off for a boss. Um, like like twenty four seven or at different jobs, you only need a laptop or a smartphone and internet connection. Then I would say it's reliable because, um, you know, if you're doing certain things on the internet, um, then you have to, you have, you get access to money making strategies. You know, you learn new skills, you learn new tips and tricks. So it's reliable. It's effect. It's effective because. My, my dream strategy, what I'm using, because I'm generating quality traffic, and you know that's needed to make sales and to make money. It's also authentic, because it's important to be unique and like that you can say, yeah, you're an online business. Lo loads of other people are talking about online business, but you know I'm staying me. You know I'm not changing who I am. I'm not changing my thoughts. I mean I can I can you know I can start lying about stuff. And, and everything, but I'm not doing that. Okay, I'm, I'm being me. I'm being authentic. This is my way of doing it. Okay, if you don't like it, fine. I mean, I cannot please everyone. I mean, I'm I'm even I'm even having I, I sometimes have trouble with people here in, in 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 my local area because I'm thinking different. You know, just just imagine when you're driving on the when you're driving your car and you're on the road. How many times are you not yelling to someone else like, oh, you idiot. That's because you're thinking different than, than the other person who's driving. The other person perhaps drives, oh, screw this, I'm just going to drive like this and this and this. And then the other one will say, are you, are you crazy? You don't be selfish, think about other people. So, you know, be authentic, be yourself. And then the M is for markets, you know, and this is because then I'm becoming a leader. And, you know, it's not really about being a leader or having the title as a leader, but it's about helping friends and family. Okay. Building a better and secure future. And that's what I already said here, you know, family, you know, friends also are included with family because if you have like best friends, you know, then they are your family. Okay. I mean, my best man on my marriage is my best friend, but we are saying brother to each other, you know, he is, we are totally not blood related, but he's my brother. Okay, I mean it. We've lived together in the same house. Uh, we we had so much fun. We are still in touch with each other. And he's my brother. Okay, he was my best man. Now I'm godfather uh, of his new child, uh, which got born um, 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 in July. I have to check it up. Yeah, I forgot it. I'm I'm very bad in memorizing dates okay so my apologies um, I even had to put like the birthdays of my sisters and my mother and father in my cell phone so I wouldn't forget it I will have to put this in my cell phone too um, because it's important <coughs> and already you know I already said to him okay I mean I will always be there for your son I will always be there for your son and even for his daughter I mean I'm not not godfather but he's my brother so i'll always be there for him i'll always be there for you know everyone 
So, this is like more or less everything I wanted to share. And we're almost at one hour, which is good. Um, I had no clue how long this would take. So, building an online business, I hope everything is clear um, for everyone. Um, I hope there was not too much lag. No, it should be fine. Okay, okay, okay. Let me hide this again. And boom, hide. Put it back to the middle. Bring it up. Okay, so we are coming to the end of lesson one. I hope you, you know, you start to realize now what is happening okay i mean we are looking at a very bad future okay in the next coming months in the next coming years um i mean a lot of people are talking about the recession i mean it's it's happening okay it, it started um the buying power um is like going less and less more and more and it won't stop i mean um and and Usually we have like at the moment we have like poor people, we have like common people uh, and then we have like, you know, rich people and the middle class, you know, common middle class, my apologies. So poor people, middle class and rich people. And now it is the fight of survival, okay? Or the middle, the more, if you are from the middle class, you will either become poor to the poor class or you will get to the rich class. And poor class will remain poor and the rich class have to be careful as well because if they are not uh, looking out very well then it can be they end up into the middle class and if they are still not taking care of themselves they will end up in the poor class and the middle class will disappear so we will only have two classes rich and poor like you know in the past in the past it was the same you know there was no middle class people I cannot really talk. Uh, if let me see about the uh, you know the Middle Ages, time of the the knights and stuff. Okay, um, you know people who live in the castle, like the owners, you know, of the ground and everything. Castle. Those were the rich people. You know, they had everything. They had food. They had drinking. They had everything. And then the poor people, you know, they had to work their asses off. Um, they had to pay taxes. So much taxes. You know, they had nothing. And this is what's happening, you know, not that people will live into castles again, uh, not that, but, you know, a lot of people will, will become in poor. And that's really sad, you know, to look at this. Um, so if you're, you know, if you're in here in this group, if you're watching this, um, then, you know, you're taking some good steps to starting with this, but keep going, okay? Don't stop, don't give up. Because if you give up, then chances are big that, you know, your children or your grandchildren, I mean, they will struggle, okay? They will struggle so hard. And it doesn't matter if you're doing three jobs and you're saving so much money. Uh, I mean, you can save up like 50,000. Um, I mean, it's not even enough to, to buy a house. Spending more than that, you know, in a year, just on you know renovations of my house and 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 stuff like that. So, building an online business, why? To make your money online. So let me just finish this right here, right now. Um, thank you very much for you know listening to me. Um, Stay tuned for next week, which is lesson two. Like I said, I don't know what subject yet. Um, I will think about it today. I will, I will go through through my documents, which is you know the right, to right the right order to start. Um, I think it will be the different possibilities, uh, different options you have in building an online business. What exists, you know, which is like totally new. Uh, what exists. Um, how hard it is, uh, what does it require from you, because, I mean, it 
and sounds easy and simple and cheap um, but if you want to build an online business without putting any money at all then um, I mean you fail okay you will fail but someone has to take the first step in your family someone has to take the first step someone has to do to get and gather all the knowledge and like I said before education it costs money okay you can try to learn lots of stuff from yourself um, but you know how many times have you done things that you learned from yourself and then if you look at the end result you can say mm, it's okay because you know I'm not a professional I didn't took any classes so it's okay um, the moment if it's about making money believe me it's not okay okay you can be happy for yourself but after three four months you will see it doesn't work and you will see for yourself it's not okay so yeah lesson two will be you know how to you know what what exists to make money online because there are lots of stuff okay so thank you enjoy the rest of your day I surely will do I have my son is done with school in 30 minutes so I will uh, you know clean up a little bit the house and uh, then grab him from school and have another coffee and uh, you know just I will relax for a half an hour a little bit um, and yeah I see you next week um, same time same day and you know if you have questions if something is not clear you can write it in the comments you can send me a message you know I will always try to respond as fast as possible uh, in and full honestly you know uh, so yeah thank you very much and uh, let me see if I can stop